One of the key challenges Indonesia faces regarding climate action is deforestation and the loss of biodiversity. Despite efforts to combat deforestation through policies and initiatives, such as the moratorium on your logging concession and the establishment of protected areas, illegal logging, land conversion for agriculture, and palm oil production continue to drive deforestation rates. Hello everyone, my name is Gabriela Riani Aritonang and I'm honored to represent Universitas 17 Agustus 1945 Jakarta in the Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2024. Before we talk about Goal 13, let's discuss the serious problem of climate change. It's clear, temperatures are rising, extreme weather like storms are becoming more frequent. Ice is melting and we're witnessing widespread species extinction. This isn't just a problem for nature, it's a danger to all of us. So, how can we address this issue more effectively? Traditional approaches alone aren't enough. We need innovative solutions that tackle the root causes of climate change while promoting a healthy planet for all. To effectively address deforestation, we need comprehensive strategies. This includes sustainable land use planning, strong law enforcement, engaging with local communities, and supporting alternative livelihoods. Furthermore, enhancing transparency and accountability in the forestry sector is crucial to combating illegal logging and promoting sustainable forest management practices. One innovative solution that has shown promise in addressing deforestation and promoting sustainable land use is the concept of biocultural heritage territories, or we can call it BCHT. A BCHT is a territory managed by indigenous peoples and local communities based on their traditional ecological knowledge, cultural practices, and customary governance systems. These territories integrate conservation, sustainable resource management, and cultural preservation. Recognizing the interconnectedness between biodiversity conservation and cultural heritage, BC actually not only contribute to biodiversity conservation and climate change mitigation, but also support the socio-cultural resilience of indigenous people and local communities. By recognizing and supporting the right of indigenous people to govern their in territories, BC actually uphold principle of equity, justice, and self-determination while addressing the root causes of deforestation and biodiversity loss. Implementing BCHTs requires collaboration between governments, civil society organizations, and indigenous community to establish legal framework, provide technical support, and secure funding for capacity building and sustainable livelihood development. Additionally, empowering local communities and indigenous people is paramount. Recognizing their traditional knowledge and rights to land and resources not only strengthens conservation efforts but also fosters social equity and resilience. In conclusion, Sustainable Development Goal 13 reminds us of the urgent need for climate action. By embracing new solutions and fostering collaboration at all levels, we can pave the way towards a more sustainable and resilient future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.